guys, my name is Jayana. Thanks so much for joining us for KidPoint Online. This month we are talking about prayer, which is a fancy word for talking with God. In Matthew 26, we find a moment before Jesus was arrested and eventually crucified. Jesus took a few of his disciples with him to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray to God his Father. Jesus knew what was about to happen to him, and as you can imagine, he was scared. So he decided to talk to God. Bottom line, I can talk to God when I'm worried. Before we jump into our story, it's time to worship. So everyone stand up on your feet and let's get ready to praise Jesus.
Watching the nightly news Don't seem to find the rhythm Just wanna sing the blues Feels like a song that never stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire back in my bones Before my heart heart turns into stone So won't somebody please pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three Joy, joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Bible. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. This is Jesus, Hey-o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms, <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! Jesus was in Jerusalem with his disciples for the Passover. Passover was a festival that the Jewish people had celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus knew the time had come for him to die, as the scriptures had said long ago. So he went with his disciples to an olive grove called Gethsemane. And Jesus said, sit here while I go to pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him, and he was very distressed and troubled. He asked them to stay with him and keep watch, 
meaning he wanted them to stay awake with him. Got it. He went a little farther on and prayed. He cried out, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened Jesus. Then Jesus prayed even harder and was suffering greatly. He went back to his disciples and they were all asleep. Uh, hello? He said to Peter, Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. And then Jesus left them again to pray, the same as he did before. He went back to the disciples after he had prayed and found them sleeping again. Uh, hmm. The disciples didn't know what to say. So Jesus went away a third time, praying the same things again. When he went back to his disciples, he said, Go ahead and sleep. But look, the time has come. For Judas, the disciple who was betraying Jesus, was coming with men to arrest Jesus. Judas showed them who Jesus was, and they arrested him. Jesus was taken and put to death on a cross to save us from our sins. But three days later, he rose from the grave. Huh? hey -oh. ah! He is alive. He stayed with his disciples for 40 days and then went to heaven. See ya! God then sent the Holy Spirit to be the helper as God's people go out and tell the good news of Jesus to all the people of the world.